Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, no, it's not very good stacking. I know it's not very good stacking. Um, I know plenty of people who have stacked bales in real life who would be utterly ashamed of the road looking like this. If I went to my parents' place to help them do hay, uh, they don't do very many small bales, they do mostly round bales on their little place that they've got. Uh, but if I went there and they were doing small bales and I was stacking them like this, I'm pretty sure my dad would just go off into a corner somewhere and quietly weep with shame. So, yeah. Um, don't, don't copy this. Don't, don't, don't copy this because uh, it, 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 it's not... I'm, I'm not sort of um, doing something here that anyone should be proud of. But putting bales onto trailers in this game in a neat and tidy fashion is a remarkably difficult thing to go and do. You can use the middle mouse button and you can rotate the bales a little bit if you want to. But don't really want to. Let's go and drop that down there. How much have I shoved it? Oh, that's actually not too bad. They are sticking out the sides a little bit, but they're, 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 they're not too bad here. Let's go and put the next one on. And... Oop, okay, what's going on there? That one... Let's drop you there, move you forward just a little bit. There, slide it over. Okay, now they're sticking out that side instead of this side. There's no, no improvement, really. This is where you've got to be careful. It's actually a good idea at this point to jump back in and do straps again. I'd do it from in here rather than outside on the trailer. So if I press L and then I press it again, now I put all the straps down on the trailer. So those bales can't be moved. I can't accidentally knock the whole load off. I have done that before. In 19, when I've been trying to hand stack bales, uh, I have actually accidentally knocked the entire load of bales off and I'll be honest with you, it's heartbreaking. I've also done it when I'm loading, using a loader and you're loading bales on. If you aren't careful and you don't make good use of the straps, the best thing to do if you're trying to load a high load is put the straps onto the bales and then load the next bit. Because you can put the items on top of it without any trouble and you're not going to knock the ones underneath so now that I've done that if I go right up there and I press R or take that strap off and I put it back on again I've now locked those in place that one up there won't be locked in place unless I do the same to this one I believe that one should now be tied up the trailer is still drifting a little tiny bit but that's because we're on a slope and I'm putting all of these bales on there it's gonna make it do weird things that's just game physics there's nothing we can do about that so we won't get too concerned about it let's go there put that one in and last bale on this stack let's go and put that one in as well move it over right i'll be honest that's actually gone a lot better than i thought it would it's not the tidiest looking of loads but it has gone remarkably well so I got three smallish stacks over there They're, they are definitely smaller and then we've got these bigger stacks down here so let's go and get this stack as well we'll add this one and we'll take and so that we can take these two lots up whether or not I'm going to be able to successfully load these bales is another matter entirely this could be a challenge right uh, first up, I've... You know what? Before I try and do this, I'm going to put the trailer on the other side of the bale, so I'm loading the same way that I was previously. I think that is going to be better and make it a little bit easier for me. I'll bring that one over that side, like that. Let's just shut the tractor off for a minute. So I will, now I can pick the bales up and... Is that the way it was loading them? No, I was, was up there and I was loading them. 
pressing that way. No. Oh. I had... Did I have it the right way before? I don't know, but the the sun is in the right position here. No, I I, I was loading them the other way. I, I don't know why I needed to move it, but the it, with the shadow being on the bales, it sort of makes it a little bit more difficult to see. So moving it round is probably not a bad thing. Let's go and grab that one. And just try and straighten it up. There we go. See, it's a it's a bit more difficult here. It was I was on this side, so I had it I had it right the first time. Um. So I, I don't know why I suddenly thought that I was on the wrong side. I think it's because of the sun. Like, it, it just, it sort of th it threw me because I couldn't see it very well. With the shadow on the bales, I couldn't see it so well. Let's move that one up there. And then, let's go here. Uh, try and move you over. We can do this. That'll do. That 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 that'll do, just like that. And then next one. Huh. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Let's put you. <laughs> this is doomed to failure. This one. This this bale does not want to be loaded. There, you will be loaded, and you will be grateful for the opportunity to become food for my sheep. You up there. Perfect. There we go. Look at this load. This is a load that people would be proud of. This is even better. Well, actually, this is better than the load of pallets that we took down. That load of pallets was frightening, to say the least. And another one up. This is, this is a little bit more difficult here. I know what we can do. We have... We have the means. Lift it like that. I'm really struggling. I, 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 all I want to do is just sort of push it up a little bit. That's kind of what I wanted to do. It's really making the trailer slide around. Uh, that trailer is really sliding around. I don't think that helps. The fact that the trailer is moving so much while I'm trying to do the loading, I think that's sort of contributing to this sort of going a little bit wonky. Although I think most, <laughs> most of the reason that it's going a little bit wonky is just my bad stacking so yeah I, I i can't really blame very much on anything else but i don't think it's helping that this trailer is look at it okay that's that's definitely the trailer moving that trailer is moving a lot see look at it where do you think you're going that is weird that's but uh, that's down to the the bail mechanic let's let's um Actually, that one bale there, I will just do that. Just moving them ever so slightly is... <laughs> Look at this trailer. It's gone everywhere. Uh, straps. Let's put them back on again there. Off he goes. The trailer's going to be right round. The, the, the end of the trailer is going to end up on the nose of the tractor at this rate. Seriously, it's ridiculous. I got a lot of bales left. I knew this stack was, you know kind of a reasonable size but I think I underestimated it slightly so we got two layers of bales going up on here let's get one more and we'll put it up in this direction like that there and then I need to start going from the front but I can't reach the front anymore because the trailer has moved so far I can't actually reach the front of the trailer which makes it more difficult still so we'll try we'll, we'll put them on this way round for layer number three and oops again okay, actually mean to throw the bale there's no nothing wrong with throwing the bales we'll, we'll put that one up there like that and i guess if i chuck a couple of them up there i could always climb up onto the trailer and we could try and pack them away that is the usual way of doing it you don't normally try and 
pack the bales from the bottom. Sit you up there, and let's just put that strap on there. Is that back bale? That back bale now is, is, is strapped into place. This one isn't. Neither is that one. But that one there is because I did this strap at the very back. Right. Let's move. Oh, that one's also got that strap. There we go. Now it's loosened it. But I have just chucked a bale off the trailer by picking that up. So we'll drop that down there and then I'll try and put these back on again. So that one, that one, and that one. Hopefully that's not going to interfere with anything else. And then we can start chucking these up here. Just the last of them to go this way around. I can put them up there. You can see that the bales do kind of wander around a fair bit. They, they do move. It's just one of the unfortunate side effects of bale physics in the game. It's Can you imagine trying to code the physics for something like this? That would be such a difficult thing to actually do. To, to properly code the physics for how these bales work. Like the fact that they are able to be handled and moved around as easily as they can be is really remarkable. I think that is a testament to the skill of the programmers who made this um, game. Um, and yes, they do have their kind of like buggy, weird reactions to different things, but generally speaking... They're pretty good. Right, so we've now got all of the two stacks loaded up. So I'm just going to jump up onto here. Straps off and straps on again really quickly like that. Um, this, tra this trailer has really gone crazy. Slid off down the hill. I don't know what he's trying to do, but there is our load of hay. I'm actually quite proud of that load of hay. I think that's pretty good. Yes, if I was to do that in real life, um, I wouldn't really want anybody else to see it or ever have any evidence that it was me that did it so we got four stacks of bales left there's three up there which are relatively small stacks and then there's a slightly bigger stack over there we're not going to move them just yet once you put the straps onto the trailer it tells you exactly what you've got we have 28,800 liters of hay here which is quite a bit actually that is quite a remarkable amount. So there's a, a fair stack of bales there that we need to move. And then we've got those other three. In the future, I don't think I want to be doing small bales unless I can get a small trailer that has an auto load function. If I can find a trailer with an auto load function, then I will use it. Otherwise... Right, this is one thing I didn't think about was getting the trailers up here. So we kind of need to level the ground a little bit out this side. So that's what we're going to... I'm going to do that in a minute. I just want to make sure that that's right because otherwise we're going to... It's going to be really difficult and we should have done this to start with. This is something... I, I've made a slight mistake in the overall building of this. So we just want to raise this a little bit over here. I know I've gone slightly below my budget now. Well, slightly over my budget, I should say. Um, but, okay with that. I'm not going to burn through lots of extra. I just want to craft a little bit extra on there. Bring the slope up a little bit like that. Right, that's all I want to do. I'm not going to do any painting or anything special on it. What I gotta do is I gotta reverse this this trailer is gonna be really awkward to reverse. Especially as it's got this tendency to it's it's sliding right now. It's actually sliding while I'm trying to move it. That's um you know what? We need to do this the other way. We're never going to be able to reverse this to the point that I want it over here. 
So we're going to have to get some Valtra muscle, a bit of grunt going on, and we're going to need to bring this one up over here. There, and we're going to have to drive in over this way. A little bit steep right there. And um, we're going to stop there. So I'm not going to take all of the straps off of the trailer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off those on the back and I'll see what I can pick up. I'm not. I'm also not going to bother stacking the bales in the sheds. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not getting involved with that. So we'll just sort of work like this. I can't take those top ones. I can remove these. So I pull that one out of there and chuck that into the back. And I can pull that one out. Have we got any? Okay, so I can't take any more out at the moment. So then what I want to do is I go over here and I remove the next layer. So I have these top bales have just fallen off. That's fine. And all we're doing is we're going to just keep chucking them up into there. So until we've used up these small bales, we don't really need to worry about anything else. But we need to do something different. Now, with the flat area that we've got around the greenhouses, I think that we could get a round baler and we could use a round baler there. I, I really do. I think that we would be fine doing that. If we quickly look at the balers. I don't want to spend all my time. 22,000 that one costs. We've got a round baler there, which will do 125 centimeter bales for 48,000. That one is a variable capacity, so you can do up to really big round bales with that one. But it's 57,000. So this one would be the most logical choice. Uh, although that one there is 30. That one right there, it still only does small bales. That's fine. Uh, we, we can do just the little bales. It does 125 cents. So it's the smallest round bales. But it's only it's 30,000. That's within our price range. If we were to sell that one, we could buy this small round baler. We, we actually have the money to do that. Uh, if we go and have a look in here, at the moment we've still got these. Once we've unloaded these bales, we will actually skip the night. And... We'll see if we get any different offers coming up for machinery. We may get really lucky and find a round bale offer. Uh, I think what we'll try and do is we will check the offers. Can anyone else hear that? It's music. Where's that coming from? It's directional. I can hear it in my mic in my headset. It's coming from up here. I can. Yeah. It's definitely coming from this way. their music being played this is the edge of the map now I can't go any further stopped that was coming from up there that was really weird That was, that was weird. That that was definitely the weirdest thing I've heard in the game yet, or, or encountered in the game yet. All right, let's chuck that one in there, and then we'll undo the next strap. Work our way through a few more of these bales. Like this. Uh, I tell you what, let's let's do the next strap as well. 
Okay, I need to do it from down on the side like that. Uh, and that one so that I can get to these up here. There's one that's fallen off down there. We'll ignore that one for a minute and we'll keep chucking these. I think it's going to look quite good once we eventually get all of the other bales done. I'm not going to do any more just at the moment because um, it's going to get you know, tedious and we're not going to want to be doing too much of this. But when we've got this shed with a mountain of bales in it, I think that is going to look really cool. Um, one thing that we might do, if we're going to switch to round bales, we've got the... Okay, <laughs> I know what I did there. I... You, if you press the left mouse button, you pick stuff up. And if you press the right mouse button, you throw something. So what I did was I went up to the belts on the trader and just clicked the right, the right mouse button. And that basically just hits it away from you. Um, and that's what I did with the one that was on the trailer. I just looked at it and, and then kicked it right off over into the distance. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do it like that. that. That wasn't part of the master plan. Let's go and dump you up there and that one as well. And now we'll take off the last of the straps. That one and that one as well. And we'll start off by taking the bales from that side. And then we can chuck the rest into the shed. Over here. I think it would be a good idea if we went and sold the small baler now, sooner rather than later. Because the longer you keep it, the more the value decreases. So we'll get the money back from the small baler, but we won't buy a new round baler until next spring. Because, well, quite frankly, we're not going to need to. There's no need for us to go and buy it. We The next time that we're going to be doing any baling is going to be in May when we do our first cut of the year. So between now and May, we may get really... It's only four bits of machinery that come up in the special offers, but we might get really lucky and get a baler come up in the special offers. doesn't really matter which baler it is. It has to be a round baler because... The square balers, the smallest one is that class one there, I think, uh, requires a 200, oh, that's 230, 230 horsepower. These are really expensive, even on offer, we're not going to be able to afford these, 195, 250. Like, the, the square balers are ridiculously expensive, we're not going to be able to afford them, um, even on with the special offers like here we, we lose 60 percent off on a baler there's a hundred and sixty thousand is still going to be way more than paying for that small round baler at full price um you know we, we are still looking at 70 i was gonna say 75 but probably set probably close to 70 grand if you've got 60 percent off something like that um whereas the small round baler at full price is only 30,000 so we definitely want to go for that so we won't be we won't be getting a square baler look at our pile of hay ah it's a beautiful sight isn't it at least it's undercover yeah at least the hay is undercover we can move this small pile right here without handling it twice just by running it up the hill we're fairly close so i think we'll just do that a minute I know I did say I wasn't going to do any more, but there's hardly any bales here, so let's let's do this one. I, If I was playing this game on my own and I wasn't doing it to make videos, I would actually go and clear the rest of the bales right now. But I'm aware that that's going to be really dull to look at. So although technically we don't want the hay to be out, we're trying to do this realistically, I do also have to try and do it with a little bit of entertainment in and with the hardcore series the whole point of it is that I don't cut out gameplay I don't go and do stuff behind the scenes so I'm not going to go and pick up these bales behind the scenes um, we'll just break up the collection of them a little bit as that's how it's supposed to work um, but there so we've got those in we've got three more stacks to move this little stack over here is hardly anything there's what three six nine is eleven bales there and pretty much the same in that one and this is a bigger stack over here 
One more session with the trailer. We can pick up those three stacks and we can be done. We're not going to do it now, though. Uh, last thing I want to do before we skip the night is... Well, first of all, I want to drive down off of here. There's one change I think I should make just there. A little bit too steep. So we are going to spend... We're going to do a little tiny bit more landscaping here. I know the landscaping does cost money, but I mean, if we were doing this in real life, we'd just have the tractor and a front loader and we would scoop a little bit of stuff up and then that would be job done. I've gone and put grass in here. So I don't want to get too close to it because it's going to spoil it. It's actually going to remove it, which is a bit of a waste of money and I've already gone and done that, but I kind of need to just bring it back over there. And then... I go like that, and I'll smooth this. This is how you got to do it. You've you got to kind of like smooth in between. So all I want to do is like fill in the the hump that's in between, so it doesn't dip down in between the two. That's what I was aiming to do here. So then I can smooth this out a little bit more. Smooth that out a bit there. Now I'll come back over this way and it's just a bit of smoothing I want to do on that corner really. Yeah. Alright. That's look at that looks a little bit better there, I think. It's just a little bit easier for the tractor to get across that bit. So I'll run the trailer down here and we'll park it up. We're gonna take the baler straight back to the dealership. We're gonna sell that baler now. And they get rid of that one. Eventually, we will have a proper yard here, but this this is all stuff that costs money. So right now, we can't afford to make this into a proper yard, so we've just got long grass everywhere. That's a little bit unfortunate. There isn't a lot that we can do about it, so we'll just live with it. And if I bring this one back up here like this, we've got a little bit of wool from the sheep and we will slowly start to earn a bit more wool from the sheep uh the track up through here this is another thing that is going to be on the to-do list of stuff that we want to buy um but i feel that this is slightly less important than get it uh, working on the the farm up there one thing that i'm not sure about is what we should do for the duration of the winter. Like, yes, we could go and do a load of contracting jobs. I could spend the next 30 episodes doing contracting jobs without actually advancing many days at all. I don't want to go down that road. I would like to advance through the seasons. So we're just selling this baler now so that it doesn't lose any more value, and then we're going to skip through to day two of September. And... Probably not a lot going to happen in September, other than maybe preparing some more ground so that we can put a third greenhouse in. I would like to have three greenhouses. I know, as I said before, this is... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.